Hello everybody, welcome to InventBox. I'm Darius, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a technical drawing using FreeCAD from a 3D model. I have this Tetris shape that we're going to be working with. So the first thing to do is to come up here to the workbench switcher and choose Tech Draw. Now you'll see we have two options. One is to insert a default page, which we will do. The second is to use a template, and we can use that to change the title block and the page size, and I'll cover that in a later video. So next, we can click on our part and choose Insert View in Page, and now we have a little drawing, a projection of our part on the drawing. And you'll see that it is coming at it from the same angle as what's in the 3D viewer. We can use this for advantage and click on the front side, select our part again, and just insert another view. And we can keep doing this at, um, at any angle. However, since you will usually be using multiple views uh, for all of your parts, um, since you would need to be able to look at it from different angles to see all the detail, um, FreeCAD has an option to insert multiple views at once and even have them uh, linked. So let me show you how to do that. First, you want to make sure you're looking at the front of your part. Second, click on your part in the tree again, and then choose this button with the yellow dots. Insert multiple linked views. At first, it looks just the same, but you'll see we have the ability to turn on different secondary projections. So the top is like a bird's eye view. Here we are looking at it from the right side. I also like to include a three-quarter view or a 3D view so that I can quickly identify what the part looks like at a glance. That looks good, except we want to spread things out a little bit. Go ahead and save the file, and oh, everything jumped back. That's because FreeCAD has a feature called Auto Distribute uh, by default on the projection group, and what that does is it makes the distance between the first view, the front, and these two views uh, fixed to a certain value, and that is uh, shown here in the data tab of the spacing X and spacing Y. They're set to 15. That would be 15 millimeters on the page. And that's pretty tight, so we could change these values and spread them out a little bit. or we could just turn off auto distribute and put the views wherever we drag them. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.